Yet again, I'm coming to you live to let you know that we the people have won. Another day, another victory for Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit. This time, it's the city of Hagerstown, Maryland that has dropped all charges. The city is also paying out to settle Reyes' lawsuit. By me accepting this settlement offer and by them paying me taxpayer money, that's them admitting what they did to me was wrong. Even better, Reyes is taking his settlement money and giving it away to people in Hagerstown in need. More on that in a moment. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. All of this began when Sean Paul Reyes, one of the most successful constitutional auditors in America, started filming in publicly accessible areas of this Hagerstown post office. First things first, let's see if we can find the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property, also known as Poster 7. That federal poster says filming in the post office is allowed, and yet... Are you taking pictures, huh? I'm sorry? Are you taking pictures? I'm taking pictures and video, yeah. Okay, stop. It's not allowed in here. Who are you? I work at the post office. It's not allowed in here. Why isn't it allowed in because here? Because it's a security issue. Well, calm, 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 calm down, ma'am. Okay. Calm down. Okay. There's no need to get upset. Okay, but... Okay? Because of security, yes. There is no security. What security? There's no federal Steve. law. Steve. Hold on. Are you, your are you familiar with the rules Please and regulations? Turn your camera Are you familiar with the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property? And the answer is no. Yes, you're not. I see a camera right here. Prius then tried to find somebody in charge. Somebody, anybody who actually knows the postal service regulations. Um, I need to speak to the postmaster or a supervisor. Uh, I've been uh, told uh, you can just wait for the police and you can talk to them before you... I can wait for the police. Within minutes, the police arrived. Hey, sir. So Hi. So complaint that the post office would like you to leave. Hi, how are you? I'm um, perfectly wonderful. Today. I'm Officer Devers. Officer Krause is coming through the door. You're being audio and video recorded for evidentiary purposes. Um, hey, I'm sorry, can you just say your name and your badge number? Well, I can tell you I'm Officer Devers. It's Officer Krause. And I appreciate your videotaping everything. But um, the post office called and asked, said they've asked you to leave. So they would like you to leave. This is their property, and so they have every right to ask you to leave. It's actually public property. And based on settled case law, Reyes is within his rights to film here in a post office. The workers are free to what, ask him whatever they want, but Reyes has not broken any laws and has a right to stay. Okay, so can you please leave? Do you understand? What department are you with? I'm with I'm with the Hagerstown City Police Department, same city you're in. Oh, okay. I assume I you just, know that. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. So if you could do me a favor and please leave, that'd be great. Okay, can, you, can you call a supervisor? Because you have no jurisdiction on this property. Okay. You do not. Okay. I'm telling you, before okay. you make a mistake, you should call your supervisor. This is federal property. Reyes is correct. The local police do not have jurisdiction. Still, Officer Deaver seems unaware and gets snippy. So, sir, who do I have the luxury of talking with today? Oh, my name is Sean. Sean what? I just, just Sean. No, you don't have a last name? It's just Sean. So no one gave you a surname when you were born? It's just Sean, ma'am. It's just Sean. So you want to know my information, but you don't want to share yours with me? Well, you're technically the public servant here, ma'am, not me. Okay. We'll deal with you in a minute. But within a minute, the police tell the postal workers to close things down. You're going to shut the post office down for what? You saw me filming. What was I filming, sir? You were filming the walls, and then you, okay. came, and then you came up front. Where sir, are you leaving? Yeah. You were told to leave. Are you leaving? Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Yes. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? No, you're under arrest. I was ready to leave. You had no jurisdiction on this property. I was arrested by a tyrant, Officer Devers, and Officer Kraus. Right here. Put in handcuffs. My freedom taken from me was horrible. In part because they hotboxed him. That means they put Reyes in handcuffs in the back of a police cruiser on a hot sunny day, rolled up the windows, and turned off the air conditioning. Then they took him to jail. I was arrested for criminal trespassing and failure to obey. About a few weeks later, the state's attorney here in Washington County dropped all the charges. More recently, the city of Hagerstown offered to settle Reyes's civil rights lawsuit. To avoid further legal costs, Reyes accepted. Hey, let me see your hands. Bert, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right here. Get on the ground. You, Bert, you shark, get on the ground. Over here. On the ground. 
In South Carolina, that man in the white shirt and his disabled cousin behind him in red have every right to be terrified. On the ground! The Orangeburg police officer... Get on the ground! ...is on a power trip. Do, do you not listen? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! There's a gun behind me! Why did you stop my head for? said the victim, Clarence Gilliard. Indeed, Officer Dukes did just stomp on him. A gun, I believe, behind me. I ain't got no gun, nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Is there a gun back there? Ain't no gun. By that truck. No gun. You're not listening, dude. In this July 2021 incident with Officer David Lance Dukes, Orangeburg Police had received a call about a man knocking loudly on a door carrying a gun. Bro, you got a gun on you, man? No, I ain't got no gun. Right, I don't want no gun. I don't want no Paul, do you watch him say? What he had something. I ain't open no gun. The door's unlocked. It's not on the No, he was right here. Watch him. Go watch him. There it is. I don't want no gun. All right, that's what he had. But that's not a gun. It looks like a makeshift tire changing tool. All right, who's the complainant? All right, get, up, get, get him up. Put the leg up. 25 cents, got one time. All right, put the leg that way so you can I'm stand up. You. All right, listen, I'm about to help you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right. Yep, listen. yep, they slammed my head listen. down on the cement. Yep. Go back inside. Go back in the house. Go back in the house. Ain't nobody talking to you. I got head drummer. Go back in the house. Yeah. Y'all bust my head down. Yeah. I've been in an accident. Yeah. Y'all bust my head down. You threw me down. I so did. You wasn't listening. Yeah. No, it ain't. You had to throw me down like that. I'm disability. Okay. I got As Mr. Gilliard talks about his injury, watches the black officer on the right, Sergeant yep. Polidor mentions to another Throw officer that they should step away and chat. Yep, you bust my head down on the cement. Uh, yep, you bust my head. All right, let me tell you what happened. His forehead. You bust my head down on the cement. He was, he was in front of the car when I came up, and he was walking like this. And I, I thought it was a gun at first. I said, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. Had him at gunpoint. And he's over here doing something like this. What he was doing is putting this up behind the tire. So he comes over right here. He got his hands in his pockets. I'm telling him, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. He wasn't listening. He got the, like this right here, and we went on to the ground. That's what officer Dukes just told the officers he believed Gilliard had a gun and repeatedly told him to drop it. Dukes also alleged that when Mr. Gilliard stepped in front of the vehicle, he had his hands in his pockets and repeatedly ignored requests to show his hands. However, the body camera footage shows Mr. Gilliard had his hands above his head. And while Officer Dukes repeatedly asked him to get on the ground, he never asked Gilliard to drop a gun or show his hands probably because Mr. Gilliard's hands were visible throughout the entire encounter. You bust my forehead. Yeah, your head did get hit the cement. Damn right, because you bust me down on the cement. Where's the complainant? You bust my head down on the cement. Right here? No. You bust my head. You bust my head. Where's the complainant? I'm trying to get the name of the complainant. You bust my head. Moments later, after going through the items in Mr. Gilliard's pockets, Officer Dukes hears from another cop that nobody wants to press any charges. Ain't nobody, there ain't nobody, nobody, nobody here, here want to press charges. Now. Who called? I'm not sure. An EMT then stepped forward. Hey. Good, how are you? Down 
As Mr. Gilliard described what happened, his cousin in the white t-shirt approached Officer Dukes. Can I get a car for me? I don't have one now. We don't okay. have one. They, they, they don't give us cards. Okay, what's your badge number? 1059. They don't give us cards. And that was a lie, as Sergeant Polidor points out. Let me see if I can get my phone. Hold on. Hold on. We, we, we have cards. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Brandon, he can get his stuff off the truck. Sergeant Polidor gives the man Officer Duke's full name and badge number. Will you say badge number? 1059. Just two days later, the Orangeburg, South Carolina Police Department fired Officer David Lance Dukes. Two weeks after that, following interviews with other police and witnesses, prosecutors announced they were charging David Dukes with assault. A few days after that, local news reporters obtained documents showing the former Orangeburg DPS officer charged for the use of force incident was previously fired from the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. The personnel document said Dukes had created a hostile work environment and that his attitude was destructive. In other words, even before David Lance Dukes became a police officer in Orangeburg, South Carolina, it was clear that he was trouble. Nonetheless, kudos to the Orangeburg Police Department for acting so quickly after Mr. Dukes assaulted Clarence Galliard. Kudos also to Sergeant Polidor and other officers who were willing to tell the truth about this incident and provided Mr. Galliard's family the information they needed to follow up. One can only imagine the role that Sergeant Polidor's incident report played in causing her city to fire and charge David Dukes. Officers who witness police misconduct are often placed in a position where their honest reporting about a colleague jeopardizes their own career. Indeed, it is not unusual to see law enforcement justify the violent actions of their peers. But Sergeant Polidor showed courage and integrity and helped to hold Mr. Dukes accountable. Recently, the city of Orangeburg settled with Mr. Duke's victim, Clarence Gilliard. The city paid him $650,000 to avoid a potential lawsuit. The money is coming from the city's insurance carrier. Let me be clear. When police respond to reports about somebody with a gun, it's understandable if law enforcement officers are nervous. But when a human being, regardless of their race or gender, has their hands up and goes on their knees to surrender to police, kicking that person is despicable and... It's a crime. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.